Now, yeah, there wasn't yeah, a lot of sympathy for the politicians uh, and those who, who got quite emotional. Some were reduced to tears. So the, the, this time around, though, I just felt the public wasn't quite as on board with them in terms of their, their own emotions. But let, let's hear from uh, Joe Hockey, first of all. I will never, ever support a people swap where you can send a 13-year-old child unaccompanied to a country without supervision. Yeah. Never. Yeah. It'll be over my dead body. How dare people. Now, a couple of things about that, though. I think it was, as, as heartfelt as it clearly was, it was misguided in this sense. Um, we'll hear now from Tony Abbott. The boats will keep coming because the government has already indicated uh, that women and children will not be sent to Malaysia. Now, so it's it so, kind of contradicted Tony yes. Abbott there and the government's position. Well, look, I, I think that the, the truth is somewhere in the middle of those because um, the government says, well, look, we, we would handle this on a case-by-case basis. And I think that there, there would be, obviously, a greater protection for people who are vulnerable. Uh, and, you know, now the government also says, well, we've got a Nauru as well. We wouldn't have to, you know, send them all back. Yeah, but then also uh, the, the, the other point is, is that if you turn back the boats, exactly. they go back yeah, to Indonesia back. Exactly. And, and, there so, are third, and he signed up to that policy. I think it's clear that the government would not be sending unaccompanied 13-year-olds to Malaysia. I think that's been clear, even though the minister says case by case. There could very well, very well be 13-year-old unaccompanied minors on the boats being towed back to, Mal to Indonesia under Tony Abbott's plan. The opposition says, oh, well, when safe, we'll tow them back. But the problem is you, you can't have that thing when safe because that's why people then destroy their boats. They start, set things on fire to make sure they don't get towed back. It is dangerous. It hasn't been and done the Navy, since 2003. And the Navy yeah. is clear and adamant that it is dangerous. This policy is dangerous. Look, look the, 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 the basic principle... I mean, I, I accept how genuine they were. Uh, uh, Joe Hockey, Michael Keenan, Sarah Hanson-Young, uh, they, they were generally distressed at the prospects that they faced. But... Let's be honest here. There are two sets of views on this. One is the Greens, who essentially uh, want to open the doors, and their only solution really is world peace. Uh, and they're not even the Greens are unlikely to get that. The other one is, is the opposition, the government, who both accept that to stop people coming, you've got to make the lives of those who do try miserable. And, as, and they just differ on how you make their lives miserable. And to stand up there and... To, to, to be terribly emotional about the fate of asylum seekers whilst accepting uh, that, that your, your major uh, uh, strategy is to, is to, is to make lives well, miserable for them. Sense, is a know, little, there is there a are little... cruel aspects to both on, on yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, whichever yeah, way you do it. Being cruel to be kind. And, you know, you've, <laughs> they've got to be honest and That's say, well, look, we want to be you know, as cruel as we can in a civilised fashion. See, this was all very rushed. If Remember that John Howard sat in that around that table with Meg Lees for quite a few days. That, it took a long time to work that out. Perhaps if there'd been time and the government was sitting in a room with the Greens, could they have negotiated something with, well, they'll, they'll give you Malaysia with a sunset clause if there's a parliamentary committee that goes and checks on the people who've sent there and their well-being in that time or things like that. You know, is there room for some kind of... The Greens made it... Their initial signal was there is no room, we will never accept offshore processing, and that mm. has always been their position. Mm. Um, but there just wasn't room for any real compromise or mood for well, any 